Saturday morning Looney Tunes, bacon and eggs, legs crossed with a paper in your hands. Today we're going traditional. Swisher, Juan Valdez. Stick around. Hey guys, I am home. Oh my gosh. We will talk in a moment about what my week was like. But uh, first, let's hit the big news. The lids are in. Yes, you can see upon my brain pot, the new lids are in. I came in this morning and they were sitting on the floor in the box. I was stoked. I didn't think they were going to be in until uh, Monday or Tuesday of next week. But they made it in. They must have overnighted them um, because I just got the tracking information on Thursday. Today's Friday. Uh, so, yeah, they must have overnighted them. You can see the High Desert Man. Now, this is not our logo. This is just a play on, uh, play on our name. But it's a, uh, it's a logo that I designed. And on the back, you can see the HighDesertMan.com. Really, really nice hats. I'm really proud of them. Whoops. I'm not one of those guys that keeps the uh, keeps the stickers on. I, uh, I must have forgotten to take that off. And we went with uh, I can't remember what the what this visor style is called. There's the flat visor. There's the traditional, and then this one starts with a V, but I can't remember what it's called. But it's it's kind of somewhere between flat and and uh, curved, which seems to be pretty hip these days. I'm trying to stay trendy, you know and snapback good old-fashioned snapback so they're on the store head over to highdesertman.com and pick up your uh pick up your representation all right guys so i have not really been looking forward to this care to pair <laughs> um i've got water on the boil and uh let's talk about what we're doing here i'm going back old school so you do what i'm saying i'm gonna show you how to row the cigar, the first cigar I ever smoked, Swisher Sweet. This is the classic Perfecto, um, and everyone knows these. These have been around. This is actually slightly smaller than the um, the boxes. Good old Juan Valdez, instant freeze dried coffee. Yeah, not really looking forward to this. The edge of the band is actually the pull tab to rip and, and pull the cellophane off. So you take the band off as soon as you decellophane the, the cigar. Let's, let's talk about this stuff a little bit, shall we? So the background, actually the background, the history of Swisher uh, Corporation and International is, is kind of interesting. Swisher International was started in 1861 when David Swisher... Um, actually got a small cigar company or a small small cigar shop uh, as payment for a debt that was owed him and uh, by 1870 the company was rolling hundreds of cigars a day <laughs> by hand they were rolled by hand back then the room uh, it, they uh, they they had a one a single room factory and that room was known as the manufactory which is kind of a cool play on words there in 1888, Swisher's sons buy the business from him, and they rename it to Swisher Brothers. So the, his two sons buy the company up from him and name it Swisher Brothers. And then by 19, or I'm sorry, 1895, the business had grown to three factories, over a thousand employees, and they were rolling 300,000 cigars per day. Then in 1913, one of the brothers bought out the other brother renamed uh, he hired his own son and then they renamed it uh, Swisher and Son this company goes back guys 158 years old it's it's pretty uh, pretty impressive so fast forward over some history there um, 
1939, Swisher builds the nation's first industrial children's nursery on the top floor of their Jacksonville, Florida factory or headquarters. So in, in uh, what was it, in 1924, they had built a headquarters office in Jacksonville, Florida. By 1927, that factory and office was doing so well that they closed down the other three factories which were in Ohio. And, uh, and then the, they opened up various other uh, farms and, and, and plants near tobacco growing regions in the U.S. <clears throat> so that they'd have easier access to the tobacco and stuff. Which means that the workers can put in longer days and not have to worry about that. They can put both parents to work because their kids are being uh, taken care of in the nursery. Good old Americana right there, guys. 1958. This is when the famous Swiss or Sweet brand is born, 1958. The cigar that we know and that, uh, that we've known as long as any of us have probably been smoking cigars or can even remember cigars, that's the, uh, the brand that we've typically seen. And the, um, the branding has pretty much stayed the same, some mild differences over the years. Okay, then uh, by 1986, company had and started growing incredibly uh, primarily through acquisition so they started buying up companies and of course in 2014 they bought Drew Estates we all know about that now let's talk about the coffee Juan Valdez coffee so I'm sure you guys all remember the Juan Valdez coffee commercials in Colombia every night new coffee beans ripen and for Juan Valdez every day is a day to pick by hand only those coffee beans which are ready. He was actually a fictional character, started uh, showing up in advertisements for the National Federation of Coffee Growers of Colombia, and it was an ad campaign essentially to highlight and draw attention to 100% Colombian grown coffees versus other coffee uh, companies and coffee manufacturers that were starting to pop up that were using blends from different countries. Of course today having blends and stuff is is all the rage. The Juan Valdez brand, this uh, actually this little icon, this character here, was the character in the um, in in the original ads and stuff, the little character that they had. But this this actual brand of coffee did not even show up until December of 2002 in which uh, the first Juan Valdez Cafe store was opened in, uh, where was it, El Dorado International Airport in Bogota, Colombia. And then in 2004, they opened their first U.S. store and, and uh, gained a U.S. presence. The cigar is obviously regular production and highly available, although I could not find these, um, these perfectos. I was looking for the traditional uh, sort of a grandpa cigar that you always saw and couldn't find them anywhere ended up finding just those little they've got these little two cigarello pouches that you can get at, at uh, gas store gas stations and stuff now uh, found those and and then last night when I was heading home from my trip uh, stopped at a Circle K and they had one box of, of these which are closer to the the uh, more traditional size that I remember and so I bought it. So the cost on these babies, $4.99 for a box of five. So $0.99.8 cents <laughs> per, per, uh, per cigar. The construction, well, we don't really know. It is, uh, it is a blend of international and domestic tobaccos. And that's about what we know. It actually smells like tobacco. It smells kind of uh, kind of nice. You don't have to clip because they punch a little hole all the way through it. They probably have a little machine that's got a bunch of perfect draws attached to it that just punches them as they roll down the uh, down the assembly line. Of course, the draw is perfect, and the Swisher Sweet. It's sweet. It's got that sugary sweetness on the lips. So. My water is boiling. Let me get my coffee ready and stuff, and we will jump into this video. You have to remember this stuff, this is basically coffee that's already been made, and then it goes through a drying and freezing process to form the crystals and to get all the moisture out 
And so you're essentially uh, you're essentially reheating coffee that's already been brewed. <laughs> And that coffee is gone. It, it disintegrates as soon as the water hits it. All right, it tastes like cheap machine made tobacco. If you've smelled a cigarette uh, before it's lit before, if you've ever, ever taken, I don't know, a, not a menthol, but a, just say a Marlboro and smelled that, this tastes like that smells. We're still going to remain refined in this process and uh, do it right. Nope. I have to give it a fair chance. You know, actually, they're, they're not really horrible. They're super mild. When I retrohale, you don't even know it's going through your nose. Let's try this, shall we? Okay, the coffee actually is not horrible. It's uh, it's got some good flavor. It is going to overpower the cigar. Of course, this anything's going to overpower this cigar. It's so mild that uh, you just you don't really notice it's there. Let's try to get some more out of this, shall we? All right, it's very strange. The it, you, you ha, I'm trying to differentiate between the sweetness that's coming from the uh, the sweet tip and the smoke and what's going on in the smoke. Smoke is non-existent. It, I mean, there's lots of smoke, a lot of volume and stuff, but it's very just bland. It, it reminds me of uh, unbuttered theater popcorn. Uh, that, and not not with that that yellow powder crap that that taints the popcorn color or anything. Just plain old white theater popcorn with nothing on it. But then, when you kind of lick your lips and get some of that sweet off of there, it almost edges into kettle corn. <laughs> so the question will be can I smoke this entire thing and drink that whole cup of coffee to uh, take one for the team and do you guys justice yeah it's not good coffee it's, it's not horrible but it's not it's not great by any means all right guys stick around see how this thing fares This is the worst cigar I've ever had. This is the worst lunch I ever had. I'm just past the halfway point now, and I can't do it. I cannot continue. <laughs> this cigar starts at the halfway point. It starts rebelling. The tobacco says, I wanted to be a big boy. I'm oh, it's okay, Jumbo. It's okay. Now, who's my big boy? Oh, who's my big boy? I wanted to go into a real cigar. And you wouldn't let me do it, so I'm going to retaliate. And it does. It retaliates with a vengeance. Pro number one.
You don't need a cutter. All you need is a way to light it, and I wouldn't even say you need a jet lighter. You could light this with a Bic. It's not going to hurt the flavor at all. You can do no more damage to this flavor. Pro number two, tons of smoke. It puts off volumes and volumes of smoke. Can you see me? Pro number three, I would say that the first half inch, three quarters of an inch of the cigar actually isn't too bad for the reasons I mentioned already. But then you start getting into uh, where it just becomes bland. It's, it, there's nothing really going on until that halfway point. The halfway point, I, you know, I, I wasn't rushing through this. I, in fact, if anything, I was, I was really taking my time because I did not want to smoke this cigar. But I was honestly trying to pick out flavors, trying to pay attention to it, so on and so forth. How many of you remember, hit me up in the comments if you remember this, how many of you remember going to old school dentist when you were a kid and the dentist had to heat up the, the lead stuff and, and, and when you're going to get a filling and there was some sort of burner thing he had that to uh, heat up the stuff and then he'd start putting the, the filling in and you would get this tinny, weird sort of mixture of smell and taste that was happening in your mouth not necessarily on your tongue it wasn't like you were actively trying to taste it but it was just this weird tinny metallic chemical taste that you would get in your mouth that's what i'm getting off of this cigar there was something else i thought of as a pro and that is you can let this thing sit for a long time you can do other things and it just keeps burning it just keeps burning and, and there's no fear of you having to relight. The ash is very flaky. It's leaving little pecker tracks everywhere. Just there's stuff all over my desk and uh, just all over everything. And I've been trying to drop the ash on it. See, I just ashed it and now stuff is falling off on my, on my table still. The coffee apologizes for not being real coffee. <laughs> it says... I want to present you the best that I can be. Unfortunately, I cannot be as good as what you're used to. It, it actually is passable coffee. If I was, if I was traveling or, or if you guys want, I'll do a giveaway and I'll give away the rest of this coffee and the uh, three remaining Swisher Sweet cigars here. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Care to Pair. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was a little bit fun for you. All right, guys, until the next video, hit highdesertman.com. Pick up your hat. These hats are bad, man. These are totally bad. Highdesertman.com. And we will see you on the next video. Until then, stay rugged.